So today I want to go ahead and talk some smack, but I'm not doing it disrespectfully. This is just going to be some improvements I think could be made to make MLB The Show 22 one of the greatest MLB The Shows, and I think that if they adapt to this and then they do it for future MLB The Shows, it can only make the game better. The first thing I want to discuss is hit that like button. Let's go ahead and aim for 30 likes on this video. Hit that red subscribe button here as well and turn on the notifications. This is the miscellaneous MLB The Show channel where you'll be getting tips, guides, and flip into a mill that series is coming to this channel as well and if you want to check out my gameplay channel my gaming channel blade miss 2.0 is inside the description it'll be inside the pinned comment as well as all my social medias and all my other youtube channels so make sure you guys go ahead and check those out as well so yes we're on the tech test today and the first gameplay update that they can make in mlb the show 22 that i believe will be game changing is giving us universal pitch speeds now before i even discuss it i want to hop into custom practice i'm gonna hop in there with the houston astros it doesn't really matter at the end of the day but i want you guys to get a visual representation of what i'm talking about now as you all know the top players of mlb the show and when i see the top players i'm talking about probably the top 0.01 percent of mlb the show players they love playing on legend difficulty meaning legend pitch speeds and legend hitting now me and the overwhelming majority of mlb the show players they cannot play on legend difficulty because we just don't have the reaction time to be in front of the screen taking adderall and whatnot in order to see the ball and do our best to focus we struggle even on hall of fame pitch speeds to be completely honest with you all so I think that we need to find a common ground and the common ground is all all-star pitch speeds even though I know a lot of people might be saying but it's super easy to hit on all-star so why would you want it to be on all-star pitch speeds now despite it being super easy according to most to hit on all-star all-star is still the average pitch speeds it's the average difficulty for the average player of MLB the show therefore they will be targeting the overwhelming majority of their fan base so in order to make it still competitive especially in ranked seasons and especially in battle royale is you can see right now i'm on legend hitting difficulty i'm also on legend pitching difficulty but that doesn't impact the pci size right now as you can see we're facing max freed max freed doesn't even have the greatest hit per nine he doesn't have the greatest k per nine but jose altuve's pci is extremely small because we're on legend difficulty if we were to go on all-star difficulty you would see the substantial difference in the size of the pci now in order to combat a universal pitch speeds i think that mlb the show should go ahead and reduce greatly the size of the pci per difficulty therefore you really have to be one of the best hitters in order to make contact with the ball and i'm just not talking about reducing the size of the inner pci and then the middle pci and then the outer pci i'm talking about all of them combined just reduce so all star difficulty pitch speeds your new pci would be what legend pcis used to be for legend difficulty the hall of fame would be half the size of this and then the legend difficulty would be even half the size of that or you don't even have to do half the size you can do something like two fifths or one fourth you can go ahead and put some fractions into that and do your best to make a competitive pci no matter what difficulty you're playing on while still having a universal pitch speed because as i say the biggest complaint that we hear each and every single year especially in terms of ranked seasons is oh lord i have to go ahead and play on hall of fame difficulty to then jump up to legend difficulty or if you're playing on legend difficulty non-stop it's like damn now i have to go to battle royale and play on all-star difficulty and just the varying pitch speeds it just doesn't allow you to be your best 100 percent of the times so i personally believe if you're good with a pci the size of a p you're gonna be good with a pci this size on all-star difficulty no matter what now Another great change that they can make to MLB The Show is going to be focused more towards the community market. And I know those that work the market are going to love these changes that I'm about to mention. Now, I wrote it down in a notepad. That's how serious I was about this. So the first thing I think MLB The Show should go ahead and allow us to do is allow us to have bulk buy orders and bulk sell orders. For example, if I have 50 Eddie Murray's, I should be able to go ahead and just put right here, let's say for example, I want to sell them for 25,000. 25,000, press finalize order, or not even press finalize order. If I have more than one, it should be able to tell me X1, 
and I should be able to click it and put X max or X custom number and I do whichever one of the three I want to go ahead and do in order to sell those players at that one price. It's going to help flippers a ton. And if you don't want to do that, then just give us this option at least. So let's say, for example, once again, we did have an Eddie Murray right here. And in order to make this more realistic, I could open up a pack, but I'm going to save that for a little bit later. And we wanted to sell this Eddie Murray, but we have five Eddie Murrays and we want to get rid of four in order to keep one. We would press finalize order with the 25,000 and then we would press create sell order. And then we would have to go ahead and type in the 25,000 again and again and again, even though that does not seem to time consuming over the time you play MLB the show it actually is it takes away time from gameplay and whatnot so I would hope that MLB the show does what they did at once I forgot which year it was but they allowed us to put 25,000 for example create the sell order and then when you were to create the second sell order right after the price 25,000 would already be there and nothing would change that allows you if you don't want to give us the opportunity to create a bulk sell order that allows us to go through that phase a whole lot quicker and the same thing goes for buying allow us to put a buy order instead of us having to non-stop put for example 5,000 stubs in order to buy this Eddie Murray allow us to do buy orders in bulk or at least give us the opportunity if we want to buy him for let's say 5,000 and you will get to see it right here. I don't need to, nor do I want to have to go ahead and tie 5,000 50 times because I'm investing in a player that I think is going to go up in a roster update. I want to be able to just type 5,000 in once and then just continue pressing create buy order or just do it in bulk. That would be excellent as well. Another thing that I would love for MLB the show to do, and this goes in particular for those that love flipping cards, is for us to have the ability, well, I just got that card sold to me, but for us to have the, the ability to just go ahead Ahead and cancel orders in bulk as well so for example if we had 50 Prince fielders I would love to have the option to click on one Prince fielder and it to say are you sure you wish to cancel this order yes or no and then at the bottom for it to say cancel all orders of Prince Fielder and then just gives you the option to go ahead and save a whole lot more time and it allows you to flip the market much more effectively in my opinion I think that that would be a great addition to MLB The Show. Another thing that I would love to see is for whenever you go ahead and open up a pack, for example, let's open up one of these Diamond Dream Packs, and you see that you find a duplicate inside your pack. For example, look, this is perfect. We have two Tyler O'Neills, but we want to go ahead and list it on the marketplace instantly because, hey, I don't want to quick sell it for 5K stubs, especially if in the marketplace, let's say it's selling for 15K stubs. So I wish that right here in this screen, they would add another quality of life update where instead of it just showing you the quick sell value, it would also show you the current buy now or sell now, whichever one of the two it wants to show, it doesn't matter to me, but just show us that, hey, we could be getting a whole lot more stubs if we list it on the marketplace as well. And then it allows us to go ahead and make a decision mentally of whether we want to undercut it by one, whatever the list on marketplace is, or we want to undercut it by a ton, or we want to put it higher than what it's listed on the marketplace because we predict that it's going to go up in price. That would be another huge change to MLB the show that would just make the community market such a better place overall if you were to ask me and then another thing they could add that would make this game a whole lot better is just pack variety I'm tired of seeing just ball in the habits we saw that literally all year last year and then the diamond choice packs they're cool in the beginning of the year but as the year progresses they're not really that special I do like the addition of ducks in the pond and all of those new packs they brought in but I think they need to bring all these new packs in early but do it in a way where we get a new pack let's say every single week but don't give us no 99 overalls 95 overalls 94 overalls any of those high live or not live but high overall diamond cards we should not get until later on in the game I think they should follow a scaling rubric when we're talking about overalls and in the first month except for live series players the highest diamond we could get is let's say an 87 or an 89 if you want it to be like that and then the next month the highest it increases by two and then the following month it increases by two the following month it increases by two four months into MLB the show the highest overall you can get is a 95 which is beautiful this allows live series players to last much longer in the game cycle and it just makes them so much more valuable and I think that is something that they need to have so for example Mike Trout is a 95 overall 
four months into the game mike trout is still most likely going to be your best outfielder but four months into the game you would have the opportunity to either a buy him or b go ahead and use all these alternative outfielders that can give you close to the same value as mike trout and give a bunch of let's say david ortiz's an 87, an 89, a 91, a 93, and a 95, because that's what we play the game. We play the game to see unique cards of the same player. We don't just want to see you throw us one David Ortiz, or for example, which was that legend? I believe, was it Joe Carter this year? Or it was the man from the Minnesota Twins. His name escapes my mind, but I don't think we got more than two cards of his or maybe three at max but i don't think we got more than three we're not wanting to see a new legend and then just see three of those new legend cards we want to see a ton of those new legend cards because it gives everybody variety and allows them to go ahead and have an opportunity to play with that legend so i think pack variety would help that out a lot and i think a scaling system would also help the game out a lot in terms of just becoming a better game and making this probably the best because they already go ahead and give you a ton of free cards that have great value so if you add more variety and add a scaling rubric to it it's going to make the game more difficult and it's going to actually feel more rewarding in terms of progression instead of oh let me just go ahead and next month get myself the 99 overall life series collection and i don't have to worry about a third baseman first baseman or a second baseman for the rest of the year because these cards are most likely end game cards that takes the fun out of the game any game that you consider fun it needs to have progression those are my two cents we got a lot more ideas i want to go ahead and discuss talking about improvements to mlb the show but i'm about to go stream so if you're interested in watching the stream we're going to be live at 8 p.m eastern on twitch.tv slash blade miss inside the description and inside the pinned comment have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i'll catch you all in the next one peace out